Hey everybody, my expect the comics and I'm back. This time with my top five picks for new comic book day this week. Interested in seeing what books I pick? Stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you'll get in a timely fashion. Alright guys, so you're here because you're interested in my top five picks for new comic book day. Um, a little bit of a tough week. I, I came close honestly to not even making one this week, but uh, I was able to find five solid picks, which I think you guys are all going to enjoy. So, let's get right into the list. And uh, I'm going to start with number five. Number five this week comes from Marvel. It's my one and only book this week. We got Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood, issue number two. Um, I did enjoy issue number one. There were three different stories. Uh, the only story I didn't like was the uh, Jonathan Hickman story, but the other two were really solid. They're going to do various um, writers, various artists in this uh, issue, just like issue number one. So we're going to have Benjamin Percy and Gerardo Zafino. A Moon Knight seeks out an odd favor for Doctor Strange. Sounds pretty good. Moon Knight's four personalities come together to debrief the night's events in a story by David Pepos and Leonardo, Leonardo Romero. And Mark Spector's mercenary past comes back to haunt him in an adventure done by Patch Zercher. So uh, that sounds very interesting. I did like the artwork in uh, two of the three stories um, as well. So uh, that's going to be my number five this week. All right. So, moving on to DC this week. We got one and only pick as well. We got Sandman Universe Nightmare Country, issue number three. This has been a fantastic story so far, written by James Tiny in the fourth, and artwork done by Lisandro Sorrentino. Um, first two issues were great. Love that kind of horror. Love the story, even though I'm not familiar with the characters. Uh, I've never previously read anything to do Sandman related, but I think this is a pretty good start into the uh, Sandman universe. Um, a little description, it's not in the Corinthians nature to save a life, but if he wants to understand the nature of the Smiling Man, which has been the main focus in this story, he's going to have to protect one of the few people to have ever seen him. Sounds very interesting, and that's why it's my number four this week. Alright, getting down to our final three so first book coming from aftershock and aftershock's been on my list the last few weeks they've been going strong so um this week we got the one and only from aftershock a calculated man issue number one written by paul tobin artwork bun by alberto albuquerque we got a few covers i'm just going to stick to cover a it's a really uh interesting cover i do like all that you know, uh, mathematics on there. It looks really cool. Um, does have, let me, let me just read you the uh, solicitation. So it says, a verifiable math genius, Jack Beans, used to run the numbers for the Pinafore crime family until one day he ran them too well and concluded that the only way out of his life was in a casket or witness protection. Uh, so he turned state's evidence and and uh, basically ran. You know, it sounds a lot like The Accountant. If you ever watched that movie, fantastic movie. If that's anything like that, it's going to be a fantastic read. And that's why it's my number three this week. Getting down to the final two. All right, number two this week coming from Boom Studios. I talked a lot about this book a couple of weeks ago that it was going to reprise the list. And uh, so uh, we got Grimm number two. Written by Stephanie Phillips, art by Flaviano. Uh, issue number one was fantastic. Love the artwork. Love the story about Jessica Haro. Um, basically, she finds herself trapped between the world of the living and the dead. Something that no other Grim Reaper has ever experienced. Just what makes her so special? Well, that's why you got to read issue number two. And there's also going to be issue one, third printing, coming out this week, too, which is already sold out. It's already going for, I don't know, four or five times cover price, just like issue two came out. 
So uh, if you can get that third printing, look out for that one as well. All right, so if you made it this far, you're waiting for my number one this week. And it's coming from Image Comics. And you probably guessed it. It's called Do a Power Bomb, issue number one. Written and drawn by Daniel Warren Johnson. Talks about Lona Steel Rose wants to be a pro wrestler, but she's living under the shadow of her mother. The best to ever do it, all time. Everything changes when a wrestling obsessed necromancer asks her to join the grandest pro wrestling tournament of all time, which is also the most dangerous. It's the wrestler meets Dragon Ball Z, I love Dragon Ball Z, in a tale where the, com the competitors get more than they ever bargained for. Sounds fantastic, can't wait. The covers are very vibrant, the artwork looks fantastic. And that's why it's my number one pick this week. Hopefully you guys check that one out. If you stay for this long, I appreciate it. Definitely appreciate the support. And it's my way of giving back as a thanks. I'm going to give away my top pick of the week from last week's new comic book day. DC Pride issue number one. The 1 in 25 metal foil by Jen Bartel beautiful cover it just came in today from the mail uh, nice hard stock paper beautiful look great graded if that's what you're into I'm going to give this away all you gotta do is hit the like button hopefully we can get this above 50 likes that's gonna be my goal um, and then in the comments down below all you gotta do is hit hashtag poison ivy and you'll be entered into the drawing. I'll do a randomizer later on this week. And it'll be added into my next week's new comic book day. So that's all you got to do. Also let me know in the comments down below. What are you interested in for new comic book day? If it was any of the books I mentioned in my top five. So that's it. If you want to be entered into winning this beautiful cover. All you got to do is write hashtag Poison Ivy. And then smash the thumbs up. So until next time, Rockspot the Comics, out.